Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to rock some Halloween stuff. I forgot what I was about to say. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about books I wanna read. My read-along, sorry, <laughs> my read-a-thon. black -a thon black -ween for short. Really, live your best, right? So I have a lot of books. It is quite ambitious. But we're gonna try to we're gonna try to live our best, okay? This is just water because uh, bad bitches gotta drink water. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just here. I think the last time I checked, if you hear anything, it's my fan because I am not about to sweat in this video like I did in previous videos. But the details for sure. Skeletons on my chest. And this is how we're gonna do it. Let me go and look at my list because let me tell y'all, last time I looked at this list, it was over 10 books. If I wasn't in a PhD program, doable. But since then I am, we'll see what gets read. So I decided that sometimes I feel like I'd be over explaining things. So I'm just gonna try to get through this list as quickly as possible. I'll also put a link to the books via Storygraph or Goodreads so that you can continue reading about the book. So I'll move over a little bit so that you can see it. So the first one is A Scandal in Brooklyn by Lauren Wilkson. I haven't heard anyone really talking about this book. What I know from this book is that it kind of follows that formula of a Sherlock Holmes which really brought me into wanting to read this book and that is set in Brooklyn and even though one of the prompts for Black Awinathon is to read a book set in the South. I want to read books set in other places as well. And the big overarching part of Black Awinathon is that you are reading crime fiction written by black folks throughout the diaspora. So some of the books I'm gonna talk about today doesn't fit any of the prompts, but they're crime fiction. If, if you feel what I'm doing, because I'm trying to put me first. The next one is The Perfect Sister by Desiree. I found this on Amazon. So if you have Kindle Unlimited or Amazon, I think you can go ahead and get the book. I can't remember if it's on Kindle Unlimited, but I did see it on Amazon. And I love reading books about a sister or sister dynamic and something sinister happening. So I'm excited to read this book. I also haven't heard anybody talk about this book as well. The next book that I'm going to read for Black Queen of Dawn is We Lie Here. This book is by Rachel Housel Hall, and I just can't wait to read this book because to be honest I've been trying to get into more of Rachel's books more into her catalog so I'm just really excited to read this book specifically for that purpose and this one is about this woman who is going on a trip and realizing that there is a bunch of family secrets that is being unraveled and someone is trying to contact her to get her to talk to them about those family secrets. Ghost Summer Stories is a collection of short stories by Tanana Reef Du. Y'all know I love Tanana Reef Du and it follows the story of going in and out of time. There is some speculative fiction elements in this book and I haven't read this one by her yet. I've read a lot of her book but I haven't read this one and this one will get read during Black Queen of Thought. I gotta put me first. The next book is The Exes by Brandon Massey. We already know my love for Brandon. And we are following the story of this girl named Naomi and she is an ex and things is happening to her and we are trying to figure out what's happening to her. That is all I want to know about this book. I sorry to be that person. I actually get annoyed when people do that in videos, but I that's all I want to know. This book came out this year. I've been having it on my radar for a while and my friend Nicole from who picked this book actually bought this book for me last June or this you know most recent June so I am really excited to read this book. I think it's also on Kim on Kindle Unlimited. Don't quote me but I feel like it is. Going back to Rachel Housel there was a book that came out recently I want to say in the last two to three years but would also meet the recent release prompt for Black Queen of Thon is these toxic things by Rachel Housel Hall. So what I know is that this is about a story of a young woman who makes a collection of digital memories for people. And then one of her clients ends up dying by suicide. So if that is a content warning for you, I wouldn't say read this book. And it has to do a lot with the things that she curates for people. And we have to try to figure out what happened to this person. So I'm excited to read this book because we love a mystery and I love that it is set on like 
trinkets and stuff and i want to know how that is being played into the story the foreign exchange is a book by veronica g henry i believe that it is the second book to the quarter storm i believe i would have to double check that and i'll put it in the description box below so that you know but it is the second book hold on i need to make sure i can't just keep saying it and and not checking it yes spot on it is the second book of the mamba rain the mamba reina series it follows the story of this sleuth named mamba reina she is a voodoo priestess and she is trying to figure out what is happening to a member of her community and also in this book it has to do with a friend coming to her about a spell but mamba reina is not understanding all the things that is connected to this friend and also a murder of this guy named author and how they're all interwoven into the story and i really like the first book in this duology i would assume so i'm excited to read book two the next book is lakewood by megan getting i've been trying to read this book for about three years <laughs> i feel like i've been trying to read it for a long time and i am purposely going into the, into this book not knowing but i will try to summarize what i see on um goodreads for y'all because i don't want to read no one's reviews of this book so it follows the story what I read it follows the story of this young woman who is having family problems and a lot of things is happening and she is dealing with grief and upon trying to figure out what her next move and make it her best move she go ahead and, and listen to this secret program and while she's in this secret program she cannot tell other people that she's in this program but while in this program she is finding out secrets that she know would be devastated if the outside world knew about what was going on in this program and this book came out in 2020 so it could be used as a recent release and it's not three years it's been a couple years i've been trying to read this so this is another investigation type book that Kiwi Quarterly has written. I've read other books by him so this is another like PI investigation and it's following the story of this young man who is dating this woman who is very known to the public. She is popular. She is a part of this self-made fashion empire or industry and one day she comes up dead. So her aunt Delhi, and this is set in Ghana goes to figure out what really happened to her niece. So another book that would be considered like a back is Cemetery Road by Gar Anthony Haywood and what I can tell you about this story is about this person who is living in Los Angeles his name is Handy there was a crime that happened 26 years earlier and then when he moves back he finds out more secrets about what happened what happened to the person who was brutally murdered and then other secrets start to reveal themselves and I don't know why but I think I'm really starting to like PI investigate sleuth set in Los Angeles. Is that because of Walter Mosley? I'm not sure but I'm gonna ride with it. and I'm gonna as I say put me first. So this follows the story of this person named Jay Porter and they are trying to figure out what is the length or what people will do to stay true to themselves in the most insidious way and what will they do to cover up something that happened. Jay is in Pleasantville and he has to figure out what happened to this man and he's in the process of trying to try his first murder case in a community that has a bunch of secrets. The next book is Blood Colony by Tanana Reevdu. It is in the African Immortal series that she wrote many years ago and I have read all the books up to Blood Colony so I want to go ahead and continue the story of David and Jessica. We all know that I got big issues with Jessica and it's pretty much a story about African Immortals, how they're coming to be, what they will do, do to keep their secret what their blood means to other people and if people find out what their blood does what are they willing to do to protect themselves and someone they're calling like the chosen one that's all i can say without spoiling it another book is creatures of passage by morowa um yejide or yei day forgetting the pronunciation i started this book a couple months ago and stopped because i had to prioritize other books i have to read this synopsis y'all i feel like once i read it y'all gonna be like mm, i need to get this book right now so my goodreads app just crashed and i am not finding a lot of information to describe the book 
so I'm just gonna have to tell you it's a ghost story and that a lot of people are saying that it is an extension of Toni Morrison Beloved and it has moments of Egyptian mythology and it talks about this group of people and what is happening to them there's also levels about grief in this book as well and this group of people that I'm talking about is called Nymphthes and it is set or the novel opens up in 1977 and I love it when we go back I'm also going to use this book as also a cross for me to also read a book for black sff i'll put the link to chloe's announcement in the description box below and the last book that i'm gonna talk about is shade of black this is a book i talked about reading and i invited other people to read it with me this is not a buddy read of black Queen the thon i took the buddy read off just so people can just have more time of reading whatever they wanted to read i do feel bad that some people were sad that we didn't have a buddy read so maybe i will include a buddy read next year um even though i didn't do it this year and I'm still thinking of doing a live show talking about this book. So this is Shades of Black Crime and Mystery Stories by African American Writers. It includes Walter Mosley, Hugh Holton, Penny Micklebury, and other authors. And it was edited by Eleanor Taylor Bland. And I've talked about how I really wanted to read things by Eleanor Taylor Bland. This right here, it's not a lot. I think it's about three like 350 pages walter mosley is at the back oh i see that gary gary anthony haywood has a story Therese Mahan grimes has a story robert greer has a story grace edwards evelyn coleman christopher chambers patricia canterbury um all have stories in this book as well and other authors as well so if you want to go ahead and get this book i will say that i found it for a very affordable price meaning less than five dollars at the time that i purchased this which was about two years ago and this was on thrift books so if you are looking to get a copy holla at thrift books and for my international not living in the united states folks I'm not sure where you'll be able to find this book but I can do a little bit of research and put some stuff in the description box if I'm able to find them so that ends up my very ambitious TBR and I hope that you were like hmm I'm thinking about read that too and as you notice that a lot of the books that I'm reading it covers several different prompts a lot of them are backlisted books just in general so i'm really excited to get into that and y'all have a wonderful day and i'll see y'all in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye